if you've been following along since the beginning of this um, vlog, you'll know that I'm currently in Florida and there was a um, huge tropical depression coming in from the Gulf of Mexico. And um, it's supposed to hit here in Brevard or Central Florida on the East Coast, probably by uh, Wednesday, Thursday. Um, right now it is Monday and we may be getting some of it, the outer bands. I'm not sure if it is or isn't. All I know is I was um, having a nice little picnic slash dinner um, cookout over here off um, State Road 520 at one of the parks here. And suddenly the storm came through and blew everything. I had to wrap up my food here and um, quickly get in because it was soaking wet. It's kind of calmed down right now and I'm inside a little blue. I'm about to go out just to show you what it looks like out there. But um, it was pretty scary. I had debated on getting out of here but um, decided because the car is all fogged up, visibility is really poor and the weather is really bad that it may be safer to just stay at this park. I went ahead and followed the road through off 520 there and it went underneath the bridge and I'm actually where I'm at right now and there's a bathroom here which means I may be okay here. Um, fortunately, Little Blue pretty much has everything. I, I have a generator, I can, you know, with the alternator, and I can generate my own power. So I'm pretty uh, self-sufficient as far as being over here, um, especially with the access to the bathroom. You can see um, I look like crap. I don't even know if you can see it because it is getting dark. And um, I'll take you outside just to show you what the weather looks like. Let me shut off this light here and shut off the um, vehicle light. Okay, so the weather's kind of calmed down a little bit, but it is still bad. Rain is um, drizzling pretty strong. Park that I'm at, I was heading on, um, I was on 520, 520 uh, westbound, and then now I've crossed over to the eastbound side by going underneath the bridge right there. I don't know if you can see the water I'm walking through here, but it is flooding over here. So I'm going underneath the bridge right now. You see the other people are leaving because uh, the weather has kind of calmed down a little bit. But it is still very bad. Try to get over here without getting all wet. Everything's fogging up. We try to clean up the, the lens here. I don't know if that makes it any easier to see, but... Okay, I don't know if it's foggy or just me or the lens or what's happening at this point. All right, I think that's about as clean as I can get it, but you can see people are uh, fishing over there on the other side. Water is dripping down off the bridge. And I'm standing under the bridge because it's one of the few dry spots, believe it or not. Um, little blues over there. I think we're on the Indian River side of um, the rivers. Um, we just crossed over Merritt Island, I guess. Yeah, I think we just crossed over Merritt Island. So over there to the west is um, is mainland Florida. Look at all that water coming down. That's what's happening. Got to clean this lens here. I'm um, debating where I want to be when the storm hits, because this isn't even the storm. This is just the, um, I don't know if it's an outer band of the storm, but it was really sudden. The clouds got really dark, and then the rain just came pouring. So, um, right now I'm at this park to kind of stay dry, that's what I want to do here. I could turn around and cross back over and go to the mainland, or I could head back to the um, Barrier Islands. Or I could head, stay on Merritt Island. Right now, I'm contemplating just sticking around and um, staying on Merritt Island, possibly going on Barrier Islands to film when the storm hits. Um, it's kind of scary and a bit dangerous. I normally wouldn't do this, but since I'm in the van and um, people are watching, I might as well try to document the storm coming through. So, this is it everybody, uh, for now I'll sign out and I'll see you later, hopefully.